first look at the official stable pixel experience plus edition rom based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 what's up peeps manji here and guess what finally we have pixel experience plus edition rom based on android 11 available and running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note this is the official stable build. Android version is 11. Security patch is from March 2021. The kernel they are using is Etude kernel and the build is of course Pixel Experience Plus Beryllium Official Edition. Those of you who want to know how to install this ROM, I will be making a separate video link to which will be available in the description of this video. Next thing, let us first address the elephant in the room. Go into settings, security, bam, here it is. IR face unlock in the building. Set it up, works like a boss without any issues. Do note, face unlock is available on both the normal build and the plus edition as well. Next up, this is how the build comes out of the box. You do have pixel launcher in the building. The recents, this is how your recents are going to look like tap on screenshot you can take a screenshot tap on share you can share it press and hold on any application and you can pin it to your quick share menu tap on select bam select works without any issues as well volume panel here it is this is how your volume panel looks like animations are pretty smooth swipe right you can access your google feed as you can see no jitters and no lags in the google feed either swipe down you can access your quick settings panel the options beside which you see a down arrow tap on the down arrow and it will open other options for you once you're done tap on done and you should be good to go next up you do have android 11 screen recorder baked in which does let you record internal audio and microphone at the same time and there are no jitters and no lags when we are recording our screen let me stop it right now and once screen recording has finished you can swipe down access it and you can also access your notification history in case you want to the blur and zoom effect from android 11 is also working without any issues now if you tap on the edit option edit the tiles you do have multiple tiles available the plus edition has exclusive tiles which are caffeine heads up sync volume panel ambient display these are some of the tiles which are not available in the normal edition next thing let us check if hey google is working or not and as you can see on your screen right now it is working with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake and as you can see on your screen it works with the screen turned off as well without any issues next up let us head over to settings network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you have the option to disconnect in the center and you also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per wi-fi basis then we can head over to apps and notification see all apps choose an application go into permissions and then let us select camera three different options for your permissions and you also have a toggle to remove the permissions for this specific application in case it is not used now when is that permission removed or how many days it is that is 60 days if you tap on mobile data and wi-fi you do have per app network isolation so you can limit chrome from having access to say wi-fi data mobile data background data and all the other toggles which you see on your screen right now other than that you also have priority conversations and i did catch a cat so the android 11 easter egg cats game is working on this build along with bubbles do note that whatsapp does not support bubbles right now and here it is the cat notification did show up in my priority conversation next up if you go into notifications you can access your notification history and also enable it from here next up let us go into battery so yes thermal profiles are present 
tap on the down arrow here are the different thermal options which you can choose on a per application basis going to battery saver you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver you can set a schedule for your battery saver based on your routine or based on a percentage then you have a toggle to turn off battery saver when your device is charged other than that adaptive battery is present along with the toggle to turn on battery light when the device is charging next up we have display so in display you do have dark theme and you can also schedule to turn it on at a custom time next up you do have night light adaptive brightness and yes live display is present in the plus edition you can choose your color profiles three different options calibrate the rgbs using the sliders as you can see working without any issues in case you mess up feel free to reset and you can also adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast works without any issues in case you mess up feel free to reset and everything will be back to normal going to styles and wallpapers here are the pre-baked themes which are available tap on custom you can create your own theme multiple font options available multiple icon options are available here are your accent colors unfortunately no rgb picker icon shapes multiple options for the icon shape as well and once that is done give it a name tap on apply and you should be good to go tap on wallpaper here are the different wallpapers you do have the curated culture wallpapers which also have the women's day wallpaper along with the mandalorian wallpapers as well baked in tap on grid the different grid options default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 then you can change the screen timeout rotation settings once you enable the toggle you can choose the different angles on a per angle basis 0 90 180 and 270 tap on font size you can choose anywhere between 80 percent to 130 percent then you can also change the display size and yes you can hide your notch in case you want to do that the system ui will take some time and once you've hidden the notch then you won't have the option of hiding the notch on a per app basis but once you go back to default you will have full screen application option and herein you can choose what all apps you want to run in full screen then go into lock screen you can have toggles for media cover art and music visualizer along with the toggle to wake the screen for new notifications let us go into youtube music play this piece of music which we have and as you can see we do have the quick settings media control and let us check out the lock screen and here it is visualizer is working like a boss without any issues next up going back into display we can also go into lock screen and advanced here in you can configure your pickup and you can also configure hand wave pocket mode you have toggles for all these options this is basically your ambient display then you have double tap to wake double tap to sleep wake on plug prevent accidental wake up so let us test it out double tap to wake works like a boss double tap on the lock screen to sleep works without any issues double tap on status bar to put the device to sleep all these options are working absolutely fine next up we have sound so in sound you can of course configure your volumes however you do have a toggle to link and unlink the ring and notification volume then in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that once you enable this you can configure your start volume and the ramp up time scroll down you have toggles for all these options along with a toggle to vibrate to indicate call status so if somebody calls you and the call connects disconnects or you have call waiting your device is going to vibrate we already talked about security face unlock is present then moving over to system this is where you have major customization for the plus edition let us first go into gestures and system navigation so you can choose from three different styles full screen gestures two button navigation or three button navigation along with the option for customization for each of these options so if you try to customize your gestures you can hide the bar at the bottom unfortunately you do not have the option to 
hide the back arrow then you can configure the sensitivity on a per edge basis and you can also configure your edge touch area for two button and three button navigation the options are almost the same so you can enable compact layout if you want to see arrows while typing and in case you want to invert the layout you have toggles for all these three in both two button and three button navigation then you also have prevent ringing so here in power and volume up together once you enable this toggle device will either go to vibrate or mute swipe to screenshot yes three finger screenshot is present and as you can see it works without any issues moving over to the next option which is buttons so herein you again have system navigation we already talked about this then you can configure your power menu and in power menu you do have advanced restart here it is advanced restart working without any issues device controls is also present in case you have any smart device connected it is going to show over here in the bottom area then you have a toggle for sensitive content on the lock screen however you do have to set up a pin password or face unlock before you can enable that toggle then you have a toggle to end the call by pressing the power button and long press for torch along with automatically turn off torch so here it is let us give it a try long press torch activated long press one more time torch turned off works without any issues then you can configure your volume buttons to either wake the device answer the call control music playback control your keyboard cursor reorient your volume buttons when the screen is rotated and yes you do have partial screenshot once you enable the toggle a short press of volume down power here it is partial screenshot activated once you're happy tap on the check mark working like a boss without any issues going back into system and buttons we have covered everything over here so we can now jump over to status bar network traffic indicator in the building where do you want it disabled or quick settings do you want to auto hide it and what is the traffic measurement unit you are looking for then you can configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar here are the different options along with a toggle for each of them then double tap to sleep on the status bar this option was present in display as well then where do you want the clock left or right and in case you want to enable the seconds you have a toggle for that as well and what is the am pm style you are looking for customization for battery indicator do you want icon circle or text and in case you are using icon or circle you can choose where do you want the battery percentage hidden inside the icon or next to the icon then we're customizing the brightness slider in your quick settings right now it is set as show as expanded so once it is expanded here is the brightness slider and the automatic brightness button let us change this to say show always and here it is on my compact quick settings also i now have the brightness slider along with the auto brightness button then in case you want to control your brightness by sliding across the status bar you have a toggle for that as well and as you can see it works without any issues quick pull down right now is set as off let us change it to right swipe down from the right quick settings panel will be expanded swipe from the left it will not be expanded and then you can configure the number of icons you want to see for rows and columns in both portrait and in landscape mode other than that you also have rules so in case you want to create a setting wherein once you leave your home your wi-fi is turned off and location is turned on that is something which you can do in rules next thing we can check for is safety net so as you can see my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and as you can see on your screen safety net is passing without any issues next up we can also head over to the google play store go into settings and play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues then in terms of youtube media playback picture in picture works live caption works of course for picture in picture to work either you need youtube premium 
or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase YouTube premium in terms of widewine DRM info is L1 but as we already know Poco hasn't paid up so Amazon Prime HD videos will not be working and I won't be wasting time either in checking that out then Google Photos let us try to edit this picture of my favorite football star and let us see if we have the option for portrait light not right now let us go back try to edit it one more time wait for this bar to finish loading and now if you're going to adjust bam here it is portrait light feature is present and as you can see on your screen it works without any issues next up let us check the app opening animations no jitters no lags everything seems pretty smooth then recents here it is everything is super fast and super smooth with respect to the recents as well let us check out the google feed for any jitters or any lags again no jitters and no lags in the google feed and i'm not sure why the keyword gets activated without saying hey google you do need to fix all these things next up let us try to switch between a few applications and switching between the applications is as smooth as it gets and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel experience plus edition rom based on android 11 running like a boss on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you